Hey, what's up, folks? Welcome to the Cata Castle Fall Student Conference welcome session. We're excited to have you here. Hey, go ahead and in the chat right now, go ahead and throw in the chat the name of your school, your name, where are you from, what are you excited about for this weekend? We're excited to have you here. We'll be starting in just under eight minutes. Thank you and welcome to our welcome session and our tech check. Hey folks, for those of you just joining us, welcome. You are here in the right place. If you are here for the Cata Castle Fall Student Leadership Conference, we're very excited to have you here. This is our welcome night and our tech check, making sure that you can connect, making sure that you understand what's going on with the app and all of the amazing technology that we're gonna be bringing to uh, this conference this weekend. So once again, if you're just joining us, go ahead and in the chat, let us know who you are, where you're from, what part of California or beyond are you from? What school are you at? What grade are you in? Let us know, throw it in the chat, and we're gonna get started in about four and a half minutes. Thanks so much. We're happy to have you here. We'll start the show shortly. Woo!
Good evening, students and advisors. Hello and welcome. We are gonna get started with our big kickoff, our welcome event in just a few minutes. You can see the countdown on the screen. If you're just joining us and you haven't yet figured it out, head on over to that chat, introduce yourself, tell us who you are, where you're from, what school or what area, what class are you in? I wanna give a shout out to the class of 2021, the seniors, give them a shout out. Seniors, we're gonna throw you some love and welcome. We're gonna begin our presentation in just about two minutes. Thank you so much for being here. We're happy to have you here. Doing the verbal countdown. Three, two, two. one. It's not as exciting when it's just two of us. <laughs> I'm pretending right, well, everyone hello. at home is counting down as well. <laughs> I know, I know. It's like the ball drop on New Year's Eve. All right. Well, good evening. Hello, everyone. So good to have you here. Uh, you know, I gave a shout out to the seniors, the class of 2021. But of course, I also want to show some love to our sixth, seventh and eighth graders, all of our middle schoolers who are here. There were a ton of middle schoolers, Jeff, in the chat. Uh, yeah. I saw Sierra Middle School. I saw Canyon Hills Middle School. I saw, oh my goodness, like uh, South Pasadena Middle School. So middle schools, junior high schools, intermediate schools. So welcome to you. Uh, all sorts of high schools from up and down the state of California. Uh, in case you don't know about your area, so we might from time to time in Catacastle stuff, yes? What's your name? Who are you? Who is ah. this man talking to us right now? Because it says <laughs> Catafall Conference Webinar Room on your name. <laughs> I know, I know. All right, I'll rename myself. Hello, I'm Ron Ippolito. I am hey. the president-elect of CATA. I know we should, I, I just get so excited to, you know, hang out with the kids because they're, they're, th they're the reason why we are here. So uh, good evening. I am Ron Ippolito. I am the president-elect of CATA and you are... I am Jeff Culver, and I am the um, all-encompassing guy that does stuff that they tell me to do within the CATA organization. So I've been doing a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff to get like the mobile app ready, and uh, CATA Central has been collecting all of your names and email addresses so that we could get that pushed out and get the invites going. So um, you might see emails coming from me as uh, you're getting stuff ready. Look at all these nice people saying hello to us in the chat. I love it. I, I just got to say, when I saw Class of 2024, which is... 30 years after my graduation date, that that was like the moment that I felt super old. <laughs> <laughs> well, eh, what are you going to do? 
I know, I know. My daughter's an eighth grader right now. She is in the class of 2025. Uh, oh. So yeah, but uh, but anyway, yeah. We were, so we were we were giving a shout out to our middle schoolers. Of course, giving a shout out to uh, Jeff, as you mentioned, class of 2024, our freshmen. I saw some freshmen spam in the chat earlier. Our sophomores, our juniors, and of course our seniors, the class of 2021. Uh, who would have thought that your the the your senior year uh, would have started off under these circumstances, and yet here we are. And uh, and that's why it's so important that you're here with us. Uh, we because we are learning the way the you know how do we how do we spread the kindness and leadership and and all the things that we do in our leadership organizations, our leadership classes? How do we do that under these circumstances? That's why you're here this weekend to be learning all of these great things. So uh, so Jeff, what is the purpose of tonight? Well, tonight was first and foremost we wanted people to make sure that their Zoom technology is working so that. Friday, we don't have like this explosion of people panicking because they're not able to get on. And we can see right now that uh, 308 of you spot on Zoom working nicely. You're here with us. That is great. Second thing, we want to make sure you're getting into the mobile app, the Cata Castle Events app, and you are either logging on via a desktop version or the mobile app version on either a phone or tablet. Um, there's they're pretty much the same. There's a little bit of a difference. If you're on the desktop version, you don't have access to some of the networking and social features that the mobile app has, which isn't a huge deal. Um, but uh, you know, if you wanted to post on a timeline, uh, we have our own like internal timeline. So instead of uh, Instagram or um, Snapchat or something, you can go right on the app and actually talk about what you're seeing and some of the ideas you're collecting from our sessions and our speakers and our presenters. Um, and then the third thing, we wanna show you some of the features of the app, kind of let you know where you're gonna find links on Friday and Saturday in order to get to the different workshops and things. Because we're using uh, how many Zoom accounts? 13 different Zoom accounts in order to get everybody into where they're gonna go. And we have a whole slate, um, I think 60 to 70 presenters that are gonna be uh, sharing their ideas and thoughts with all of our attendees. So very exciting to have the turnout that we've got for this first student virtual conference in the fall. And I know. You know, I'll just say, hopefully, the last student conference virtual in the fall. <laughs> we want to. We would much rather be doing these yes. in person for sure. Hey, uh, Jeff, quick question in the in the first question in the Q and A section. Uh, one yeah. student says, "I have not gotten the email that was apparently sent out." So, uh, you want to talk about that? So, yeah, as of uh, today at four o'clock, we have sent an email to everybody in in which we got email addresses from. So, um, check your spam folder. That's typically where these emails go to. And it's from that the name says Cata slash castle. And then it's from an actual address that's no reply at rdmobile.com. So, you know, because of that weird naming thing, a lot of uh, email filters will think, oh, this is this is a trick, but it's real. We're really trying to get you to click on the links inside of those emails. So check your spam or your junk folder, first of all. And again, there was a, that email that went out at four o'clock today. Um, that was the invites to tonight. And those, you can click the links right in that email. Um, and then uh, I think at 3.30, we sent out a batch to um, anyone that had submitted their email addresses in the last 24 hours. And then yesterday morning, uh, we sent out the first batch of emails that we've collected over the last couple of weeks. Um, I will be sending another email out I'll, tonight when we're done with this at 7.30. I will, shoot, I, will, I will click the button that says send the invitation email out once again. So as soon as we're done here, you can kind of watch for that. And if you're still not getting it and it's not happening, um, then uh, you know we're going to try to troubleshoot that tomorrow. That's why we're doing this tonight. So we have a full day and a half to get you squared in and settled away. So um, there is, there's a way you could try to work it if you didn't get the email. If you know the email address that was used when your advisor registered you or you uh, submitted your email address, you could go to the app itself, click on the event, and then it's going to ask you for your email address. That email address has to match exactly, though, as to what we put in there. Otherwise, it won't work. And then it's gonna shoot an email to your inbox. So if you used a school district email account, sometimes that's the trouble we have is your school districts have tightened up their security so much that they're not letting outside emails come in, in which case we can change your email to a personal uh, Gmail or a personal Yahoo or, or whatever uh, to get you in. But uh, yeah, we definitely want to try that out. Look for that, that email. Again, I'll send out to everyone that, hasn't, that has not logged into the app, you'll get that email uh, tonight, hopefully across our fingers. All right, uh, Jeff, and also we're going to demo that uh, in the when we when we kind of look at the app tonight, we'll demo that. Uh, there was a question that said, "Am I muted?" And the answer is yes, you are muted for right now because this is a webinar format. However, uh, when we have our 
uh, our swap sessions on Friday night. That's going to be a great opportunity for you to interact with uh, fellow students and then also those workshop sessions on Saturday. So you will have plenty of opportunity for your voice to be heard and your face to be seen by your fellow students. Uh, but tonight's just really more kind of a, you know, kind of a Q&A, well, Q&A in the text version, but really an opportunity for us to, to help you get connected. So I'm going to go ahead, Jeff, I think I'm going to have you walk me through. Okay. As though, as though While I you're were... Yeah. While you're pulling pulling that, go ahead and pull that up. And uh, there was a question in the Q and A um, that said, "Do we have to use the app?" So you either have to use the app or you can use the desktop version. But you do have to use one of those two. You've got to get logged in because that's where all the links are in order to access any of the content. If you're not in the desktop version or the mobile app, you're just going to be kind of sitting staring at your wall on Saturday, and that's no fun. So. Um, all right, Ron, so you've got your phone opened up. This is an iPhone. The, the uh, iPhone versus the Android looks slightly different, but the process should be relatively similar. Okay, so <laughs> I, have, I have already downloaded the Catacastle app and I am clicking on that right now. And so in order to access this, I have to log in. So I'm gonna click log in. Or click the link in the email that you were sent because that should, should take care of, supposed to, they just revamped their entire <laughs> login system like in the last couple of weeks so I haven't actually seen it like in play on a full conference yet but in theory you click the the join session in the email that you got and that should then take you directly to uh the the session the uh, the event as long as you have the app downloaded or on a desktop it'll open up the website got it so uh so if I click select this event uh, yeah, it's still going to have me. So I have an account. So I'm going to click I have an account. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my login information here and hopefully not reveal my, you know, my computer's secrets to the world here. Uh, actually, yeah, I will. I'll temporarily you probably, you probably take that off. I'll yeah, stop yeah. the share temporarily. <laughs> I, I know how this is here. Okay, so now I have, uh, let me let me do the share again and reconnect, here we go. Oh, uh, Cat Essential is in the Q&A. Betty wants to remind everyone that if we have not received payment from your school yet, then you would not have received the email inviting you yet. So that that is a, a, a little trick. You may have submitted your email address, but if your school hasn't paid for the conference yet, those haven't been sent out yet. So as soon as we receive that payment, those emails will get sent in. We're, we're doing uh, daily updates of the email addresses. All right, so Ron is trying okay. to log in so yeah legit i i could have sworn that i uh, that i put everything incorrect so i think this is when i'm going to click forget my password and jeff is this another way that you could actually uh to to get it if you if you know the email that you put it in you could just say i forgot my password and then connect yeah, that if, way if you have an account already if you don't have an account i don't think you would want to um well it, it's going to tell you that there's no email address probably got it okay so you so, just get a, you just did a reset for your account all right all righty so and literally i just see this is why you know this is why we do this now we work out all the bugs <laughs> now uh because like literally i just i just set this up at least i thought i set it up uh just you know just a little bit ago okay so anyway uh i am i'm getting the email right now on my computer and it is loading up as we speak oh there's my there's my reset and I'm gonna click reset password. And now I'm gonna put in my new password and then hopefully this will work. Yeah, cause you were already inside. Cause you, so you did forget that email address or that uh, well, password. <laughs> no, I, I, I thought, well, you know, it's probably human <laughs> error. I'm just, I'm so excited and I, you know, okay, now, now I'm connected. So now that was, that was an easy reset. And so now I go back to my, uh, back to my phone and so uh, let's get back here, and there we go. Okay, so uh, it the it is all prepared and it's all ready, and then I click continue, and I'll just use my time. There we go. All point. right. So Jeff, uh, I am in the app. This is super exciting. So now I've got a few things that uh, that I can do here. So first of all, the the big thing I click down here on schedule in the bottom on the middle. And this yes. is going to be kind of that. This is this is kind of the main thing that you're going to be using to access all of the different content, right? Correct. So, yeah. So if you look up uh, at uh, Friday, the Friday welcome and overview, if you open that up. Yep. 
and then scroll down. Oh, I'm sorry. That's that's the wrong one. I wanted to show the Wednesday one. Sorry. Go oh back. yeah, today's. Yes. Yeah, so tonight's. Right, right. So the pre-conference welcome. That's what we're doing right now. So click that. Yep. And then as you scroll down, you're going to see a section called links. And there's Zoom link. So all of the workshop sessions are going to have that same Zoom link. They're not there now. You're not going to see them if you look for them now. But Friday and Saturday, they will be there. Uh, that's how you're going to find the link to the Zoom session for the workshop that you want to attend. Uh, same is going to be true for our keynote speakers and our panel discussions. Uh, those Zoom links will be embedded right there within the session. So you have to access that directory and scroll down to the links session section. Uh, now, if the link doesn't work for some reason, we're also going to be including, and Ron, if you can go back. Yep. So cancel that. And, and then just above, at the bottom of the information section, the Zoom webinar ID or the Zoom ID in the case of the meeting rooms and the passcodes will also be there. So if for some reason that link doesn't work, you can just go up there and find that information and you can actually manually type the number for the ID and the password into your Zoom software and it'll take you to the session as well. Yes. So uh, let's go back and then uh, I'm going to show you real quick. So as we scroll down, so Friday, we've got our welcome and uh, over you can see the time there from 345 to 4. Then we're going to have Layman Hicks with some amazing words from 4 to 445. And then we're going to be busting into swaps from 5 until 6 o'clock. The swaps are going to be done uh, separately middle school and high school. And then it's going to be divided by alphabet by last name. So when you open up this session here, keep scrolling down, you're going to see uh, high school swap one, and it's going to have the last name alpha uh, listed there. That, that'll change. We have to wait until all the names are in to figure out how to divide up the alpha. So um, you'll determine which swap you go to Friday night based on what level, middle or high, and then based on your last name. And then this is the list of all the facilitators that are going to be within the swap rooms uh, and helping to get a conversation going amongst all of our participants. All right, let's go back and scrolling down. Then we go to Saturday. Um, and then the list of Saturday items, just like Friday, are all here. And then as you work through the day, you're just going to open up each session and you'll find your Zoom links. We click on workshop one or two. Sorry, I was just so excited about the scrolling. I know, I know. The scrolling was super fun. I understand. Um, as you scroll down on workshop one, you're going to see a list of the 12 workshops that are available. So here's uh, the five levels of leadership and then collaborate, communicate, and connect followed by COVID friendly events, growing and diversifying your ASP program. So these are the actual workshops. And then Ron, if you just wanna click on one of them. Yep. When you open that up, you're gonna see the speaker and there's a description of the session as well. And then as you scroll down, there's the links. And so some of the presenters will have um, some resources in there and then under links is also going to be where you'll find that magical Zoom link to take you to that session. Um, and then, so I know some people, I, it's really hard to kind of being choppy, you're, you're reading through all these different ones. So at the bottom of the menu down there, Ron, you'll see workshops. This is the yep. workshops at a glance right next to the schedule. Oh, so this is brilliant. all of the workshops are listed. So all of workshop session one are listed here with title and description. So you can open this up on a desktop or um, you can also with using that little up arrow, you can upload it and not upload it, but uh, send it to like Safari or uh, Google, excuse me, Google Chrome. And then you can turn your phone sideways and you can zoom in a little bit if because uh, the writing's so small um, and then you can kind of get a glance at all the sessions that are happening um, remember and you're going to kind of work this out with your advisors I would imagine but those of you that are a group from a school you want to spread yourselves out amongst all of the workshops so if there's 10 of you coming from your school make sure that you're all at a different workshop so you all get a chance to get the different content so that you can take it back and share that with your school now, uh, Jeff, there was a question in the in the chat, and then also a similar question in the Q and A. Uh, do we attend all of these workshops? This seems like an awful lot of workshops. Well, live, you're going to want to attend one during workshop session one, and then one during session two, and then one during session three, and one during session four. So on Saturday, you're going to attend four workshops, and then we also have uh, three uh, speakers going on. We have a actually, I think we have two speakers, and then we have a panel in the middle of the day. So. Then we're recording the workshops. They are going to be loaded up into the app right into their session. So where you find that Zoom link now, that's going to be replaced about a week or so after the conference with the recording. So you can go back in at any point between now and February 28th, and you can actually watch the recordings of these workshops. These can be great 
uh, lessons that could be done within your leadership classes, your advisors are cheering right now because they're like, oh, I could do a lesson on TikTok dances with Jenny Vuong Batamana in my leadership class. How exciting. Um, so these will all be available to you. You can access the app anytime between now and February 28th, and you can watch those recordings at your leisure. Good question. Thank you, Ron, for asking that one. So Jeff, uh, another question. So let's say that they want to, because I, I know for me, if I go to a workshop, I don't want to watch a workshop on my phone necessarily. I want to watch it on the computer. So if I want to do that on my computer, you said it is, I can go to the Catacastle app on my computer, correct? You absolutely can. So within the email that you get, it's there's a button to click that says, take me to the desktop version, or you can go directly to, you ready, Ron? Oh, I have it all ready to go. Oh, you have it. It's cata.eventessential.org. And, and, that, I'm, and I'm going to throw that in the chat as well. Awesome. And that is also listed in the mobile app as well as a resource. It is called doo -doo 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 -doo, uh, desktop and phone access. If you open up desktop and phone access, the URL to get to kata.eventcentral.org is listed in there. So anytime you need info about the event itself, you can just find, hopefully find it in the app. Um, so Ron's going to open that up. Maybe I am. I <laughs> my uh, my copy and paste wasn't uh, wasn't working there. Okay, so now we go to no cata.eventsential.org. There you go. Right on. Okay, and so then you're gonna click on the Catafall 2020 Student Conference. Yep. And here I am. And I'm right here. Yep, I'm already logged in here. You're already logged in. Yes. Fantastic. And so the schedule's there, just like we saw it on the uh, mobile app, except we've got this beautiful schedule graphic that I made on Canva, by the way. Um, <laughs> Ron loves Canva. He's He's got a love affair going on with Canva right now. I do. It's great. I do. And so same situation. You just you scroll through, and uh, for each session, you open it up, and you'll find the link to the Zoom. You can open up the workshops at a glance on a larger screen. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, and again, there was another question in the chat. So when when we have the Saturday workshops, again, you physically cannot attend all of them. You shouldn't be bouncing around from one to another. You right. pick one that you want to participate in live. And then the beauty of a virtual conference is if there were any other topics that interested you, after the fact, once we have all of these uploaded, which should be within, within about a week after the conference, you will be able to check out any other workshops that you want. And that's also important because we will have uh, room limits in terms of capacity on some of the workshops. So if you try to get into your first choice workshop and it's full, Zoom room has been maxed out, then go to your second choice and then you can review that uh, video for your first choice after the fact. So uh, always important to get to your workshop sessions on time so that you can get into them and uh, keep in mind that they might, the one that you want to go to might be full. Um, but I would also have that conversation with the delegation from your school as to who's going to go to which workshop again, because you want people to attend a wide variety of them from your school so you can share ideas. Okay, uh, Jeff, the next thing that I wanted to show off really quickly, uh, and there have been a few questions in the chat and the Q&A about the Flipgrid. So the Flipgrid, I am super excited about the Flipgrid because this is your opportunity in advance of the conference to share to uh, to share your face and your voice with. We have uh, was it is it almost twenty six hundred students that are attending this conference, Jeff? Uh, twenty six hundred students and advisors. So okay, a mix. So <laughs> if you want to. Here we go. So if you would like to participate in that, and I saw some of you already knew about this because you read the email, but if you go to Flipgrid and if you put, there we go, Flipgrid, and if you put in, I just dropped this in the chat, if you put in the flip code CATA conference, so CATA conference, and then go, and then I'm going to join with Google. Yes. Yeah, sure. Oh, I have to log in. Yep. I got to <laughs> log in with my with my school district account. And there we go. So on Flipgrid, you can introduce yourself, Catafall student intros. So you can introduce yourself there. And and we are, there's Isaiah. Oh my Isaiah. goodness. I could, I could hear Isaiah nice and loud in my, in my earbuds oh. there. <laughs> we couldn't hear him. <laughs> um, and so there's that topic. And then there's one other topic. It's the, I like a leader who. So these are the two topics that you can respond to for our, uh, for our fall student conference. And we would love for you to participate in this because if you've ever done Flipgrid at school, you know how fun Flipgrid is because you get to see the faces and hear the voices of your peers and you get to share yourself. And so you could literally be 
sharing with over 2,000 other student leaders from California and beyond. Okay. Um, I think we're getting close to 7.30, so we're going to wrap this up, but I just want to leave everyone with one, one thought. As you're trying to log in, if you run into to log in issues, you're having trouble, it's not recognizing you, <laughs> follow the instructions on the screen and look at what's on there, because there is an option that says, ask for help with, um, with login information or um, ask for assistance or uh, send a message to whatever. Yeah, just fill out that form as well. Give us your name and what's going on and we will then get a message in the back office to figure out why you're having trouble getting in. And um, earlier today, for example, I had an advisor who couldn't get in and it's because the email address was .edu and it was supposed to be .org. And so very simple fix that I was able to troubleshoot and correct and then get that advisor in. So uh, don't panic if you can't get in, just kind of check out what you're seeing on the screen um, and then uh, you know, contact Cata Central tomorrow if you're having trouble as well. That's uh, info at cata1.org um, or their phone number is on our website and your advisor can contact them. They've probably been in com uh, conversations already. And uh, that's what we're here for tomorrow is trying to help troubleshoot everyone and getting them in. So Friday, you can just log right in at 345 and join us for the first welcome session. And uh, Betty was saying you can call or text. Betty, can you just throw that phone number uh, in the chat, please? That would be awesome. Betty Phillips uh, and our entire CATA Central team, they are so amazing. Um, a couple quick questions from the chat, Jeff. What if we get kicked off Zoom during CATA? Uh, jump right back on. If you get yep. kicked off, then jump right back in, uh, unless, just like you would in a, yes. Unless you get kicked out because of some sort of a behavior issue, in which case, <laughs> uh, which I know that's not gonna happen because this is a leadership conference and everyone's gonna be, showing their stellar leadership skills. That's typically what we experience at all of our CATA and CASEL conferences, so. Absolutely. Um, another question in the Q&A, what app do I have to download? Uh, download the CATA CASEL events app for sure, and, uh, the Flip, and the Zoom app for sure, and the Flipgrid app. Alternately though, you can access all of these on a computer as well. So if you, were, if you want to do this entirely on the computer, you can do the, the uh, event essential, uh, the, you can do the app, on your desktop, you can do Zoom on your desktop and you can do Flipgrid on your desktop as well. So you don't need a phone for any of these things. You can access it all from a computer, PC, Mac, Chromebook, uh, all of the above. Uh, if you're having trouble with Flipgrid, could be that you're using a school district Google account or school district Microsoft account. So you wanna get out of your school district account um, because your school district is blocking your ability to get into the flip grid that's outside of their district. I just saw that in the chat. Hey, I got to run, Ron, because I got to go open up another Zoom room. So uh, I'll let you finish up and uh, we'll see everybody Friday and Saturday. And uh, perhaps we'll be chatting via email um, over the next day and a half if you're having trouble getting set up. So see you soon. All right. Bye, Jeff. Thank you. All right. We're going to get through a, a couple more questions here uh, in the Q&A. Uh, so the email, so if, like I said, if you're having, like Jeff said as well, if you're having any email troubles, uh, first of all, I would check with your advisor, check with your advisor to make sure that your advisor actually submitted the correct email address, right? Because if, if your advisor submitted, uh, you know, if it's even off by one character, then it's not going to work. So check there first and then connect with Cata Central, info at cata1.org, or uh, I think Betty threw the, uh, through the phone, the phone number in the chat there, the Cata Central phone number. Uh, Betty, I think you did that, so thank you. A couple more questions. We'll wrap this up here. Uh, in the other Zooms, will we have our cameras on? In the swap sessions on Friday night, absolutely cameras on. In the workshop sessions, cameras on. If your workshop presenter says to have your cameras on, uh, yes, absolutely. But again, if you are a little bit more shy or introverted or your camera's not working or whatever, there will not be a requirement. Like this is this is a student leadership conference that is designed for you to be comfortable. Uh, to, so if you if, if that camera's not working, then it's not a big deal, but we're gonna encourage cameras on for sure. Um, next question, talked about the app, I answered that. And then uh, should we create an account for the app? So yeah, you're gonna create it. It's, it's a, it's a one-time create the account for the app with your email address. And then the very first time, it's just gonna ask you to uh, enter a password and you set it up that way. If it's not working through the app, if you're, you know, that's giving you trouble, then you can also try again with that, uh, with that website, which is once again, I will copy this and paste it into the chat, cata.eventsential.org. Uh, all right, is it okay if I join via Zoom? Yes, that's the only way you can connect is via Zoom. Uh, if you did not pay, oh yeah, so Betty said, uh, so, Another possibility is uh, if you if your school 
did not pay yet. So I would just say, check with your advisor, make sure that your advisor, that payment went through because that would be another reason why uh, you couldn't connect. Um, do we have to make a new account? Yeah, you just created the very first time. Can we use our school email? You're going to use the school email uh, to log in the same email address that your advisor submitted to us. So if that was your school email, yes. And if your advisor submitted a personal email, then yes to that. Uh, what should I do if it says there's no verified email addresses from your account? Uh, but it also doesn't allow me to reset my password. That would be uh, a Cata Central question, info at cata1.org or call or text the phone number uh, that Betty put in the chat. All right. We are okay. I have a <laughs> we have a few more. So why don't we do this? Uh, because I want to make sure that I uh, that I address these questions. If you still have any of those burning questions, but at the same time, I want to make sure because uh, we have uh, we have a couple of prizes for you. So uh, we want to make sure. So I'm going to go back through, and I picked in advance. I picked. Uh, I got seven and 23. So I'm gonna go up to the top and I am going to count and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Kehlani, Kehlani Dare, Kehlani, if you are still here, congratulations. You're the winner of an Amazon gift card. So Kehlani, I need for you to stay on. If you are still here, Kehlani, stay on and I need to get your information and then eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I should not have picked such a high number, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Mary Canoon, Mary Canoon, congratulations. So Kehlani and Mary, congratulations. Stick around uh, because we just need to get your email address so that we can get you that Amazon gift card. We have a $25 Amazon gift card for each one of you. Thank you so much for showing up to our event tonight. Okay, um, can I download the app on a Samsung? You can, it, uh, it works for both Android and for iPhone. Uh, are we also already supposed to have an account set up? And do we press get started? You're creating, you're setting up that account for the very first time. Yes. Oh, um, great question from Dahlia Fernandez. How do you pick the workshops? I'm a little confused. So you're going to choose the workshop that speaks to you, right? The one, if you look in your workshop list and you're like, hey, that looks really good. I'm going to go do another screen share here. So you want to spend some time. Talk to, I would look at the workshops at a glance. This is so beautiful right here. I would look, so workshop session one, you have all of these different workshops to choose from. Now, remember, you can only choose one to participate in live, but you have all of the rest of these that are gonna be recorded. So pick the one that, you know, if you think you might wanna ask questions, uh, the one that you wanna participate live in, go to that one, but you can always watch the recordings of all the other ones. So you're gonna pick one to visit live in workshop session one, in two, in three, and then in four. All right, that was a great question. How do I pick those workshops? That's how you do it. Um, if for some reason we are unable to attend, will there be recordings? Absolutely, we talked about that. Uh, the, will the session end at six or 6.15? It just depends on the, the schedule. So you just check and see and uh, the schedule will tell you when each of our uh, events end. Uh, any other, if you have any other login issues, go ahead and uh, like I said, email info at cata1.org. I'll drop that in there again, or uh, give us a call or a text. Uh, and let's see here. When we find out if you're in swap one or swap two, that'll be alphabetical and you'll see that that'll be uploaded on the app Friday afternoon. Ooh, one more thing that I should tell you. Uh, let me go back and I'll do a screen share on the app. All right, so let me reconnect. And here we go. All right. So another thing that we forgot to show you here is if we go back to the dashboard, uh, if we go to, well, no, let's go to, let's go to more. And down at the bottom here of more. So we've got dashboard down here at the bottom. We have notifications. We have the schedule. We have the workshops. And then over here on the far right down at the bottom, there's more. And if you ever are like, hey, I think this should be updated. If you click update, then that's gonna update so you have the latest data, the, the latest app data. There, but there's one more thing that I wanted to show you here in more, and that is, you've got the timeline here. So there's nothing here yet, but this is like the social network 
So if you want to post a photo of you participating in your workshops, take a photo of you in front of Zoom. This is this is the social network right here, right? So this is like the this is like the Instagram of the app. So you can connect because again, you don't know everybody's, you know, you don't have everybody's social media information. You don't have everybody's Snapchat uh, user, you know, username or or Twitter or Instagram or anything like that. But this is the social network that is built right in here. So you're going to go to. Uh, you're going to go to this timeline here, and that's where there's nothing here because nobody has entered anything yet. Another thing, if you want to connect, you can go to the directory. If you have a question, let's say, for example, my friend Zach Abernethy, uh, he's up in uh, Murphy's Angels Camp area, up in Area A. I can click on him, and I should be able to send a message. And for some reason, of course, I can't send. Oh, wait, maybe because he hasn't set up yet. Uh Oh, there we go. Okay, so you can send a message as soon as uh, they have set up their account. So once they've set it up, then you can send a message. So Mustafa, for, for example, from Westmore High School, I can go ahead and click send message and I can say, what's up? And so, oh my goodness. Well, just for the sake of time, that is gonna be spelled incorrectly. So you can connect if you meet someone and you're like, hey, you had a great idea. I wanna learn more from you. Then you can connect using the directory. And again, you can only message someone once they are actually connected. And actually you can also, uh, we don't see many photos here yet. I don't think I see any photos just yet, but you can also upload your photo. So you can, uh, you can upload your own photo by going to right here, uh, because this is me right here and I can update, I can update all of my profile information here. And I'm not just not going to do that right now. <laughs> all right. So I'm just going to go through. Thanks so much for everybody who's sticking with me. I'll answer a few more questions. Uh, Linda Cooper says, are students going to have access to recordings or just advisors? Linda Cooper up through February 28th, everyone, students and advisors will have access to the recordings, just like the students and advisors who went to CATA Leadership Camp have access to those recordings uh, through the app. Yes. Uh, you can choose your workshop. Absolutely, you can choose your workshop. Yes. Uh, if we do workshops on Saturday, what are we doing Friday? So Friday, you just check the schedule on Friday. Uh, we have our keynote speaker and then we have swaps after that. So swaps, it's when you get to interact, you get to um, ask questions and share ideas among all of the schools, uh, high schools, high school students are going to be swapping with other high school students, middle school with middle school. And so that's what we're doing on Friday, keynote speaker and swaps. And then on Saturday is when we have keynote speaker and all of those great workshops. Great question. Uh, do we choose the workshop? Yes, I've already answered that. Um, are the Zoom workshops first come first serve? So our Zoom rooms have at least a 300 uh, person capacity, right? So we have a total of 2,600 students and advisors. Uh, and so some of our rooms can only go up to 300. If you don't get there, if you're not one of the first 300 people in there, and again, remember, we have, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We have 12 workshops. It looks like 12 workshops per session. So we have a capacity of 3,600 right, for uh, for 2,600 attendees. So if you're not one of the first 300 people in there, don't worry, there will be a recording of that session. But if there's a really, really important workshop that you want to get to, just make sure that you get there, uh, you know, maybe a, a minute or two early, get into the waiting room, because then once the waiting room opens, then you'll be able to be one of those first 300 people there. Uh, another question, what's the difference between high school swap one through five? That'll be based on alphabet, the your your last name, letter of the alphabet, they're going to be split up by last name, right? Because we have so many high school students, we can't fit everybody in one uh, in one swap session. So you'll be divided up based on the the based on your last name. So that's what those are. And you'll see what the divisions are uh, when you log back in on Friday afternoon before the conference. Okay, we have to make a flip grid or is it optional? It is absolutely optional, but it's a great way for you to connect. And we're going to be taking some of our best flip grids and we're going to be uh, turning them into our bumper videos for Friday evening and Saturday evening. So uh, what some of our best Flipgrid videos are actually going to become part of the video. We're gonna edit those together and show those in front of the conference in front of 2,600 people. So if you are a little bit more shy and reluctant and maybe a little bit more introverted, maybe you could, you know, Flipgrid, if you've used Flipgrid before, you know, it has those features where you could like put a sticker of a smiley face over your face. Uh, it's up to you, however you wanna share, but it's, it's your choice. It is totally your choice. It is not required. 
Uh, I'm currently on my laptop, but I'm trying to get this for my phone. I downloaded the app and signed into my account, but how can I know if I'm signed up for the conference this weekend? Uh, it's automatic. Once you've created your account, whether it's through the computer or through your phone, the same email and the password that you created will log you into any one of your devices. So you can log in on an iPhone, an iPad, an Android uh, tablet, Chromebook, computer, uh, it doesn't matter. Once you have that login created one time, then you're good. Okay, uh, how long is CATA? Check the schedule. How do we get the link for the Flipgrid? Once again, that Flipgrid link, flipgrid, www.flipgrid.com forward slash CATA conference, or on the app, you simply just use the flip code CATA conference. And the Flipgrid info is in the app. Thank you, Jalen, for that. Uh, when you guys want to want us to have the Flipgrid done, so if you would like to be included in the in the video that we share to you know with over two thousand conference attendees, then you want to make sure to get the Flipgrid done because I am personally going to be editing it tomorrow afternoon. So you have until tomorrow afternoon because uh, I'll be jumping on that probably two p.m. tomorrow. So you have until about two p.m. tomorrow if you want to be included. If you just want to share, then that's fine. You can share anytime, but. If you want to actually possibly be included in that bumper video that everybody sees uh, by 2 p.m. tomorrow. All right, I have to go some somewhere. So part of the conference will be taken on my phone. Uh, okay, so again, the only apps that you need, if you're if you're just doing this on your phone, you need the Zoom app and the Catacastle Events app. Those are the only two apps that you need. And Flipgrid, if you want to share on Flipgrid. Okay, uh, I think, what is the Flipgrid code? I've shared that. Do you want to get on the Flipgrid? Go ahead and get on the Flipgrid tonight. The, the, the advantage of getting on the Flipgrid earlier rather than later is that if you get on earlier, then you get to share with more people, right? So if you jump on tonight, and let's just go ahead and why don't we do a screen share, uh, and we'll just do a live check-in and see. I'm going to go to flip, flipgrid.com. Oh, I should probably spell it right. Forward slash CATA conference. So if I go here and we can already see, yeah, I'll join with Google, sure. I'm gonna log in, there we go. So the advantage, the reason why you would wanna get in earlier rather than later is more people would see your video. So if you're the type of person who likes to share, see right now we have Isaiah, we have Yasmin and we have Jackson. So once you get off of this call, you can go, once you get off the Zoom, you can go ahead and introduce yourself and you know, for, for Catacamp this summer, we had hundreds of videos. And Catacamp, we had like 1,200 students. For this conference, we have 2,600 students and adults. So I would imagine that we would probably have a, a lot, a lot of videos in here. So when you have a chance, as soon as you get off this call, go ahead and introduce yourself because you're sharing, you know, your face and your voice with the other student leaders all around California and beyond as well. Okay. Um, it won't let me join the Flipgrid with our school account or Gmail account. So I think in that case, you may need to use a personal, uh, either a personal Microsoft account or a personal uh, Gmail account. It just depends. That would be that would be your school district's settings. That would be your school district preventing you from doing that. So I think a personal, uh, personal Google account would be a, the way around that. Uh, do we have workshops all day Saturday? Check the uh, check the schedule, and. I'm a bit confused with what we're supposed to attend on Saturday. Are we only supposed to go to one? Oh, we already answered that question. Okay. I think, what if we have internet issues? Um, I, I would say, talk to, talk to your advisor and your family now to figure out where is the best, the strongest internet connection going to be. Will we have to turn our cameras and mics on for the conference or will it be like this? There will be, as we mentioned previously, more of it will be interactive. Mo only the uh, only the keynote sessions that when we have the keynote speakers will be in this webinar format. The rest of the conference will be very interactive, where again, other students will be able to see your face and hear your voice. So much more interactive. Okay. Um, and all right, so I'm seeing a few things about like we can't get can't get in if your domain is gmail.com. Uh, so what do we do? So we'll go ahead and we'll troubleshoot that. What do we do if we can't get onto Flipgrid? So I'll check that out for you and we'll push that out via email. Uh, and 
is this recording going to be available before the conference? Yes, this recording right here, uh, as soon as this session is done, we're going to, uh, the, the video will render, and then we're going to upload this to our YouTube video, or excuse me, to our YouTube channel. Uh, that's going to be Cata Leaders. So we're going to be pushing that out on Cata Leaders, and that'll go out in a couple of hours. And as a matter of fact, Cata Leaders, let me go ahead and I will share that YouTube channel with you right now. And... I'll push this out and you can go ahead. And if you want to subscribe right now to our Cata Leaders YouTube channel, as soon as that is up, if you click the bell, as soon as that video is up, then you will see that, uh, the, that notification. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I see a few more questions. I think probably these questions would be best answered uh, just in an email because I don't wanna spend any more of your time. We have 168 students who have been uh, hanging out and uh, I appreciate your, uh, your patience uh, and so, we're gonna go ahead and take the rest of these questions. We'll take those, we'll create like a frequently asked questions and push that out via email for you. Uh, and again, I have some other folks that are saying the code for Flipgrid is not working. So it looks like we might have to do, just go in and do maybe a little tweak or change on the Flipgrid. Uh, and so, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and that's one of the things that I will work on. I'll work on those Flipgrid settings to see if we can open up. Actually, okay, let's do this since I already have you here. And by the way, if you want to take off, again, the recording of this, I don't want to keep you any longer than you need to be. So I am giving you permission to leave if you'd like. But since I have so many people uh, who are saying, hey, the Flipgrid isn't working for me, why don't I go ahead and log in and see if I can change those Flipgrid settings? Because if I can change the Flipgrid settings, then I think I may be able to solve this problem live and in real time. Okay, so... Let's see here. What if All right. What if we do this? Okay. I've changed. Hey, for those of you who are on Flipgrid, can we go ahead, why don't you, or you're trying and failing on Flipgrid, why don't you try now? I think I've changed a setting, so I think you should be able to access the Flipgrid right now, but why don't you go ahead, if, if someone can try it now and see, try Flipgrid, you can either try it on the app. Anissa Alexis is saying it worked. So it worked for Anissa. Yeah, it works, says Carl Orkita. Thank you. Nidhi, thank you. It worked. Awesome. We did it. Hey, you helped us problem solve. Thank you. It was just a simple, simple flip of the switch. Yay, it worked. Awesome. Okay, good. Um, all right. Well, we have 127 people still with us. Uh, I think probably a lot of these questions in the Q&A, uh, <laughs> I, think, I think we're just going to go ahead and flip grid. Hey, I can check that off. Problem solved. Hey, thank you. Thanks for your patience. And uh, we worked that out. That's how we do it. In student leadership, we problem solve. Okay. Uh, I'll answer one more question, and that is, will we be using the app again after this event? Here's the cool thing, anonymous attendee who asked this question. The app, this conference, the content in this conference will be, the recordings will be available until February 28th. And then the cool thing is, if you are, well, if you're a senior, then uh, it'll be available again for the Castle Conference in the spring. Uh, and then that might be about it if you're a, if you're a high school senior because you're you're almost ready to graduate. But the cool thing is we're using this Cata Castle app for everything we do for our Castle conference in the spring, for our student conferences in the fall, for summer leadership camp. So this is going to be a way that you can go back and get resources from prior events that you've been to. Uh, this is going to be a way that you can connect with other people throughout the school year. So uh, this is this is one way that you can connect and network with. Let's say there was a student that you met from another school and you want to connect with them, send a message to them. I would say absolutely keep this app on your phone throughout the rest of the school year. It's going to give you the opportunity to connect and network with students from across California. And we even have students from beyond California here. Okay. Um, All righty. It says there's already an account with my email in the app. So if there's already an account with your email in the app, then what that means is you just need to, uh, you need to reset your password, right? Reset your password and then go back in your email, do a search, make sure that you check for uh, what Jeff said at the beginning that you check for, you check that spam folder. And I think it's RD Mobile. I think that's where I'm gonna double check for you, RD Mobile. And make sure, yep. 
that's where it's coming from. So look at this. If you take this, I'm going to throw this in the chat. Oh yeah, Stephanie. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, yeah, I just did a search for RD Mobile. That's what I searched for. So if you search for RD Mobile or what Stephanie, uh, Stephanie from Cata Central, she's our executive director. Thanks, Stephanie. Uh, no reply at rdmobile.com. That's what you're going to look for. Uh, because again, this might go into your spam folder. It might go into your junk folder. Uh, and that would be like, <laughs> that would be a shame if you keep like trying to reset your password, or you keep trying frustrated, frustrated. And the whole time it's been going into your trash or going into your spam or uh, something like that. If, if it is just not working at all with your school district, this is why I mentioned earlier, talk to your advisor. See if your advisor, because if no one from your school district can connect, then it could be a district issue blocking. And so then your district, uh, you would then, your advisor would need to reach out to your IT person, your technology people at your district to allow emails from rdmobile.com or you would just need to all use personal email addresses. Uh, but if no one from your school can connect, then that might not be a you problem. That might be a district email problem, right? So that's why you wanna reach out to your advisor. If there, if there are already students who have been successfully able to connect, then it's not the school district and it's not the it's not the email. It might be it might be that the email address was spelled incorrectly, or it might be just something that you're not, you know, you're not looking for it in the right folder. Okay. How do I find out my username and password for the Catacastle website? So you would have gotten an email, and again, you're looking for that email from RD Mobile. Is there going to be a workshop for people who are mascots at their school? Oh, and I am not sure because I have not looked at all of the workshop titles, but Owen, if you go to uh, if you look through the workshop sessions, then uh, you you can look and you can check and see if there is a mascot session there. And if not, then Owen, I can tell you that uh, Ruben Martinez, who is an advisor down in the San Diego area in Area G, uh, he is the mascot expert because he does do uh, workshops on that. So. I'm going to share that name with you, and uh, I can't think of his can't think of his school off the top of my head. But I will, uh, if you stick around, I will find that for you. Okay, uh, it worked right on. Okay, um, I need to I need to get over to this other workshop, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wrap this up. If you have any other questions, uh, just email those to info at cata1.org. Like I said, we'll be preparing that FAQ, uh, answer these kind of these commonly frequently asked questions. But if you're having that trouble connecting, talk to your advisor first, check your spam folder, do an email search for RD Mobile, because that's going to solve probably 95% 90, of those email connection problems. And I'm going to say goodbye and have a good evening to those 98 uh, people who are still sticking around. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. And we look forward to seeing you this weekend at the Cata Castle Fall Student Leadership Conference. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. Take care. Bye, everyone.